Hey, it's Ryan Breezy. Welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, and it is the last weekend in October. Happy Halloween to you guys viewing, and we're here with Exodia. This is our first requested deck from the viewers here in the comments. We built an Exodia deck, it's pretty decent. Um, if you want to see any other do it decks in the future, I'm not gonna have like a set schedule like I did in October, but I'll get to them when I got some free time. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's pretty pretty weird. Um, you really don't want Exodia in your hand with this deck. It's odd. But let's get into the deck breakdown and then we'll get to some PvP duels, hopefully getting some wins and automatically winning. <laughs> Basically, we got our four pieces of Exodia here, the normal ones. Two Electromagnetic Turtle, which during your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Ends the battle phase completely, but downside, you can only use this effect once per duel. Not once per turn, per duel. But it is a good effect, and 1800 defense is pretty decent. Here's the head of Exodia. Not really any effect other than you win if you have all five in your hand. I hope everybody knows that if you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, and we're running Light Swarms in this deck, so to help get the cards in the graveyard, and y you'll see how it plays out. Uh, Felis Light Sworn Archer can, can't be normal summoned. It gets special summoned by being discarded to the graveyard, and then you contribute that card, and then target one monster on the field, destroy it, and then send three cards from your deck to the grave. Next we got three Lumina Light Sworn Summoner, which once per turn, discard a card, target a level 4 Light Sworn in your grave, special summon it, and during the end phase, send three cards from your deck to the grave. You use that to target your level 4 Raiden. Next we have a per performage performer performage <laughs> tricker. Um I don't think I ever used this guy, but he doesn't sound that bad. If you have two or more monsters on the field, you can special summon this card. During either player's turn when a card or effect is activate that would inflict damage to you, add a counter to this. Then Make that effect damage zero. When the third counter is placed on the card, its attack ripples. Next, we got Burmage Trick Clown. We got three of these, and when it's sent to the grave, you can target one perform 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 rage <laughs> monster in your grave. The special summon it. Let's attack become zero, and we take a thousand. It's a good way to just keep putting up. Like, like blocks for your opponent so they can't take out your life points. Cause it's a real struggle getting the five Exodias in your hand while keeping your life points intact. <laughs> and this deck isn't the most offensive, so. Here we have Raiden, Hand of the Light Sorn, a level 4 tuner, which is why we're running some Synchro Monsters. During your main phase, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the grave, and if any of those were Light Sworn, you gain 200 attack points. Plus, once per turn during the end phase, send two cards from your deck to the grave. Pretty good. Um, 1700 attack, probably your highest attack of all the other monsters you got. But, here we got three copies of the Legendary. Legendaria. The legendary Exodia Incarnate. Can't be normal summoned. Must be special summoning by tributing one of your forbidden ones that don't have any effects. So the normal monsters. And it gains a thousand for each forbidden Exodia piece in your graveyard. In each each turn it's on the field, you get to add a Exodia from your graveyard to your hand and then if it gets destroyed by battle you get to however many exodia pieces you have in your hand you draw that many cards pretty good 
although its power diminishes each turn as you're grabbing the Exodia pieces from the graveyard into your hand. One copy of Tsukiyomi can be no, a special summoned. When you normal summon it, it targets one card on the field and you get to flip it face down. And then during the end phase, because it's a spirit monster, it returns back to your hand. Two charge of the Light Brigade, spend, send the top three cards of your deck to the grave and add a level four Light Sworn monster. Huh. Here it's a great card for this deck. Dark Factor of Max Production, target two normal monsters in your graveyard, add them to your hand. So when you have these guys in your graveyard, you play this card and you get two of them back to your hand from them. Next we have Hand Destruction, each player sends two cards from their hand to the grave and then draws two cards. Pretty decent to help put these cards out of your hand and get better ones in to help bring them back later. Uh, two Monster Reincarnation. Discard a card, target one monster in your grave, add it to your hand. Good for bringing back the Exodia pieces. One day of peace, each, each player draws a card, and then nobody takes damage for either turn. Three solo re recharge, discard a light storm, draw two cards, then send two cards from the top of your deck to the grave. One upstart goblin, draw a card, and your opponent gains a thousand life points. A Jar of Avarice, target 5 cards in your grave, shuffle them back into your deck, and then draw 1. Uh, 2 Wabaku, take no battle damage from your opponent's monsters, and your monsters can't be destroyed this turn. For some reason while I was testing this deck, Wabaku was not working at all. They were just destroying my monsters, I don't, and I was taking battle damage with it too, so I don't know if that was an ability I wasn't seeing because I was checking all the cards on the field, but... Who knows? And then I have another Wall of Destruction, which if your opponent attacks in, uh, for each monster they have on the field in attack position, they lose 800 attack points. So it, and it adds up for each one. Extra deck, uh, Black Rose, Moonlight, Dragon, level 7. Um, when it gets special summoned, you get to target a monster on the field that was special summoned and return it back to their hand. And, oh, well, I didn't know if that was a recurring effect, but I don't know. It says once per turn, so we're only running one. Don't know what this guy does. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Force Prince. Card of Synchro Summon, you can special summon one level three fire monster from your deck. I don't think I am. This might be. No, do I have any fire monsters in my deck? I would recommend this card. After you synchro summon this card, you cannot special summon level 5 or higher monsters for the rest of the turn. Why was this recommended? I don't see any synergy here. Clearwing Synchro Dragon, one of my favorites. Um, level 7, anytime a level 5 or higher monster activates an effect, you can negate it. And then you gain that attack. And you negate it, destroy them. And then you steal their attack for that turn. One Coral Dragon level 6 tuner. Once per turn, discard a card. Target one card on the field. Destroy it. This card is synchro summoned to the grave. Or sent to the grave. Draw another card. Michael the Arch Light Sworn. Once per turn, pay a thousand life points. Target a card on the field. Banish it. You can target any number of Light Sworns in your grave. Shuffle them in your deck and gain 300 life points for each one. And then, during the end phase, send three cards from your deck to the grave. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. I don't quite see the synergy with this card either, as I'm not playing Pendulums. But when this card is special summoned, you target one card in your Pendulum Zone, special summon it. That card can't attack for the rest of the turn. And then, monsters in your opponent connect uh, possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. That's the only effect I could see working. Next I have a Castell Sky, Sky Blaster Musketeer, um, two level 4 monsters, attach material, target one monster on the field, change it to face down defense position, or you can attach two materials, target one other face up card on the field, and shuffle it back into the deck. Next this is a card limited to one, it's Diagusta Emerald, two level 4 monsters, 
detach a material, and then you get two stacks you can activate. Or three monsters in your deck, shuffle them back in and draw a card, which is what you normally do. Or target one normal monster on the field in your grave, special summon that. Uh, I don't really use that effect, so I didn't really read that. Two Dante, Travel of the Burning Abyss. I don't really play this card either, but I use it. Once per turn, detach one material from this card, choose the number one to three, send that card from the grave from your deck to the grave, and gains 500 attack for each card sent to the grave this way. That's pretty decent. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle. If this card is sent to the grave, target one burning abyss card, that doesn't affect us. I've got two Dark Rebellion and Exceeds Dragons in here. One of my favorites, detach two materials from this card, target one face-up monster you control, your opponent controls, and you steal half their attack points and gain it. Lastly, we got three Minerva the Exalted Light Swarm. Level fours, detach one material, send three cards to the top of the deck to the grave, and draw that many equal to the amount of light swords you sent. And we got a decent amount, but um, after that, if this card is destroyed by battle or change possessions, you send three more cards to the grave. That's our deck. As you can see, it's a lot of sending stuff to the grave and then trying to grab it right back out of the grave so that you have Exodia in your hand. Uh, in our extra deck, not going to go over them, but we got Black Cluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. If you want to read it, there you go. Next is Chaos Sorcerer, a bunch of banishing effects. Advanced Draw, which tempting to run if you want to tribute your big legendary Exodia. But it won't activate his effect when it gets destroyed because he has to be destroyed by battle. And then next we have White Elephant's Gift. Also tempting to run if you want to get rid of your Exodia pieces into the grave and then draw two. Another Jar of Avarice. And we have Threatening Roar that was in the deck earlier but I put Wall of Disruption in instead. That's our deck. Let's go try and get um, Exodia on some fools. See you in the deck duels. Okay, we have Billy Bands Rezek who's stepping up to duel us and Exodia. Let's pick scissors because nobody picks scissors. Let's go! We're going second. We want that extra card. He's got bones, so. And a like a 50 card deck. Oh man. Starting off with a terrible hand. Always love to see that. Dark Magician. Can we beat him? It'll be close. Oh no. I don't like that when I when I start out with five <laughs> spells and traps. <laughs> No way! He just cut his life points in half! We might win by life points instead of Exodia. Hmm. I can't really use this Jar of Avarice anytime soon. I mean, my starting play is Charge of Light Brigade, I believe. Don't like that draw. Oh, <laughs> that's what we like to see. Oh my goodness. Two pieces of Exodia right off the rip. All right, let's give him Arp Start Goblin. We can charge with the Light Brigade again! Um... Let's pick... Lumina. I don't think that really mattered what I picked there. No. 
Did we accidentally send one of them? Oh, we got sent at the end. How come she didn't summon? Alright, unfortunately one of our Exodia things went in the grave. Um, what? I mean, I could bring him back. Activate this. Unfortunately, another one went to the grave. <laughs> I'm expecting this to have 2,000 defense. Yep. And turn. We're gonna get wiped here. I really want to. That's gonna special summon out another Dark Magician. So we know what he has in his hand right now is Dark Magic Attack. Although our defense is looking terrible. That's going to banish our <laughs> Wall of Destruction. <laughs> Alright, two cards just got sent. What were they? On Lumina. Oof. He's exceeding. That is saving our butt as it's getting rid of that field, that equip spell. And it's lowering his attack to 25. Didn't know that had an effect of gain a thousand. Alright. Can you also exceed this card using rank six? I'm trying to read the exceeds monster. Alright, we are 5,000 life points lighter. What are we gonna draw? Not what I wanna see. Let us bait out that darn card. We can special summon this guy in defense. It's a free block attack. If we summon her out... We activate her's effect. Discard Clown. So we need to bring back Felis. I know she's a cat. If you look at her face, she's a cat lady. <laughs> I don't want to activate her effects, I want to... Black Rose Moonlight Dragon? I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, thank god I can undo it. I need something bigger than 2500. Yep. Michael the Arch Light Swarm. I'm gonna pay a thousand life points to banish this guy and then we're gonna attack hopefully we should have just made a massive leap we need to start drawing into our cards and bring it back Actually, Breaker. Activate it. Activate it. Yes! I'm gonna chain. Let's jar of Avarice. We can. I mean, we want. Bring one of these back. Charge Wabaku. I'll take an upstart goblin. 
I shouldn't have picked that second incarnate. Yeah, I didn't want to draw that. Alright, alright. If we draw into a piece of Exodia, that work, but... You're wide open to attack. I don't have any spells and traps down. That's a useless card. Let's set it, just so we bait that one card out of his hand. Awesome. We have yet to draw into any of the... To any of the dark factories which is what we need and none of them have been sent to the grave yet oh my gosh I don't trust that face down don't like this Going to monster reincarnation, discard one of these guys that are useless, bring back our leg. Okay, when does this effect activate? Once per turn, during your end phase. Cool. I'm going to attack in with Michael, just in case that card is damaging. In phase 2. I'm going to summon out the right leg. And we're going to special summon this guy on top of it. It should be 3,000 or 4,000 attack points. 4,000. We got four pieces in the grave. In turn, his effect's going to activate. We're going to grab Exodia. You want to grab the head. We do have one of our turtles in the grave now, so that's good. We still need to draw those dark factories, or we're done for. If we draw two dark factories now, we win. I think. No, we're still missing one piece of Exodia in our deck. It's a useless turtle, let's just set it in defense. As the other one's in our grave. Okay, okay. I want to put him in defense mode. Let's attack in with Michael. I just hope we don't get into like a mirror mirror wall. For game. We won. <laughs> I wish he could tell what he had face down, but we, we we definitely had the upper hand once we banished that Ebon High Magician and got his other Dark Magician off the field, which just put us in too much of a positive for him to overcome with what he was drawing, I guess. So that's our first win. Let's try and actually get Exodia out next turn. Our next match. We probably could have got it there if we wouldn't have attacked in, but I want a timer. I'll see you guys in the next duel as we find somebody new. Billy Bands is back for the best of three series. He took game two, unfortunately. But I did change my deck around there and added some new cards in. I've won three rock, paper, scissors in a row though, so that's a miracle. I added Quaking Mirror Force in for more defense, and I added Lightning Storm in for more spell and trap removal. We draw into our one copy of Jar of Avarice. Terrible. Magician's Rod lets him draw one spell or trap, which he's gonna get circle, I guarantee. Unless he already has it. He already has it. 
He started out with circle three games in a row. All right, we cannot play spells right now. He's a warrior spellcaster. Okay, if I play a spellcaster, does that cancel it out? <laughs> I'm gonna summon out Raiden. He's probably gonna trigger his trap to special out Dark Magician. Yep. Alrighty. I kind of want to use my Dark Magician deck against this guy, but show him what's really up. My one copy of Electromagnetic Turtle goes in. Perfect. I'm going to set Jar of Avarice just to bait. Can't use my spells right now. Let's destroy this guy so it pops up every chance it gets. Enter. Send two more. Nice. All my one off copies are got it. Thousand knives, of course. He's gonna add his magic attack. I guarantee it. Please, I wasted all my avarice. Please. What can I act? Oh, I got five cards in my grave. I didn't want to send my five cards back. I feel like that would have just set me back even further. Um, I'll take the 3200. Whatever. We're still winning. I feel like, although it doesn't look like it, we'll get out of this. Actually, I can't lightning storm this guy, can I? Basically, we're gonna summon out this guy. Girl. Activator effect. Discard our Exodia piece. She'd better not have another throwing knife. Unbelievable. She activated that ability, I can't believe it. Okay, Magician of Dark Illusion. It's summoned out. We're in the advantage now that Magic Spell got destroyed. We're, we're setting pretty. I can get around this. This face up card leaves the field, which it will. Just watch. Okay, we're gonna discard our Exodia piece. Summon out Raiden out of our grave so that we can get a level 7. Then we're gonna get um, Michael. We're gonna banish Eternal Soul. Which is going to clear his board. And he can't start. He can't keep bringing back the... Can't keep bringing back Dark Magician now. And I can use some spells. Discard him. Draw two. Can we activate? Uh, I don't want that right now. Let's set it. Tack in and start catching back up. 
So right now he cannot activate any spells. He's stuck. Ooh. Actually that ain't bad. We need more Exodia pieces. Now he can activate spells. He's probably going to search for a circle, I believe. Makes the most sense. Curtain. He didn't play it. Odd. I can't upstart for him. I don't want to banish. I don't believe. We're going to be giving that thousand right back. In phase two. Get another card out of our hand. Our deck. Eee, solar recharge. Let's activate hand destruction. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Draw two. Set Trick Clown, set this, and end our turn. Light Sworn's gonna send more. That's risky. We're, we're starting to get our Exodia pieces in. But we got five turns left of discarding with Michael. <laughs> Maybe I should put a level 10. Or 11 synchro in here. I wish I had another card in my hand now, like Trick Clown, so I could discard it, get an Exodia piece, and start. We got two and one Dark Factory. Three. Okay. I don't want to get rid of my reincarnation. Let's just attack in. I still have my turtle in my graveyard in case this somehow turns around on me. Perfect. Wasn't Exodia pieces, wasn't anything bad. Okay, he sets another card. Not what I wanted to draw. Uh, we can reincarnation now. Discard this. I need a piece of Exodia. Earthrite, bring him back, Dark Magician. That won't negate my spell, will it? Because as of right this moment, the next chain I can't use spell. Okay. I'm gonna activate Trick Clown. <laughs> he's thinking, he's thinking. <laughs> if I pay a thousand life points, I can banish Birthright. He's still thinking. Banish two spells from your grave, add a spell or trap from your deck. And that specifically lists Dark Magician. We'll use once per turn. Magician of Dark Illusion special summons when spell or trap activates. Why did he put it in attack mode? We will never know. Dark magic circle. Ah. You don't think that uh, a face down is a uh, eternal soul, do you? We kick it off the field and get rid of his monsters again. <laughs> this 
the legendary Exodia Incarnate. We hit him for a thousand there. We're going to end our turn. We get an Exodia piece back. Unfortunately, we need to speed the process up. All pieces of Exodia are in the grave now. Oh, jeez. I can't activate his ability with this car. Oh, I have to get them destroyed somehow. Not what I need to draw. This card is sent to the grave. I need somehow to get rid of Michael. We need to discard the most. Please don't get rid of my dark factory. We're gonna deck out, aren't we? Yep, we didn't draw our last dark factory. It's in there too! We had a one in three chance of winning this. Ah! It would have grabbed the last two cards of Exodia, and then during the end phase, we would have grabbed the last one, and we would have won. I don't think I can banish myself. And turn. Are we gonna do this? I have two great traps sitting there in case. <laughs> We're gonna do it! Watch, he, he pulls out the, the stunt that Yugi pulled out from the anime and just rips it out of our hand. We did it! We did it! Let's go, Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> Let's go. Oh man. Love to see that. Win with Exodia. Bonus 50 points. And that is my Exodia deck. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And how it worked. We didn't seem to draw... We didn't draw this card the whole time. Here's how... It the changes I put in, I added, I took out one copy of this, I took out a copy of this, added in two lightning storm and added, I took out Wabaku and added in quaking mirror force. I mean, I never activated this, but I feel that's way better than Wabaku. And this added some much needed spell and trap removal, I guess. Although, he had us pretty locked down on spells that whole time. <laughs> but yeah. Dark Factory of Mass Production coming in clutch with one card left in the deck. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any decks you want to see me play, as I'll be hitting them. And this deck was requested by B.Cole. Thank you for this. It was... Pretty enjoyable making this and I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. See ya.